All right, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to take screenshots of your computer screen like this, and then it automatically uploads and gives you an imager link. So you can go to the internet or in a chat and just paste the image. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Um, we're going to be using a tool called ShareX. So you can type in ShareX, if I can press the X on my keyboard. Um, so here's the website. Um, you can look at the source code if you want on GitHub. Um, it's a pretty cool open source tool. Um, I have it on all of my computers. And uh, yeah, I, th I think it's better than Snagit. Um, I have some people at work that use Snagit made by uh, Camtasia or TechSmith I'm sorry and this is I think forty dollars for that um, I think the open source is better so we're gonna do this so you're gonna go ahead and download this and we're gonna download it to the desktop and click install I'm actually not gonna run it because I already have it set up but you basically just click, click next through it so I'm going to show you how to use it. Right click on the ShareX icon and uh, we're going to go to hotkey settings and this is the screen where you would set your hotkeys for different stuff. So I have control and print screen is capture region. So if I do control print screen it brings up the crosshairs and I can, can, I can take a screenshot of part of the screen. If you click escape it cancels it. If I want to capture the entire screen I just click print screen. So click that and then I have two monitors, so it gives me two. Um, capture active window is alt and print screen. So alt and print screen takes a picture of this. I don't know, it didn't. I didn't have anything selected. So let me do that again. Alt print screen. And it took a picture of just, just this application. So um, I also added one. I'm not sure if it's here by default, but it's start and stop screen recording GIF. So this will make a GIF if... Um, if you want to record something on your screen. So if I hold down shift and print screen, I can say I want to record this right here. So it'll have it a countdown timer and then start. So I can go like this and then click stop. These take a little bit longer, but there's a progress down at the bottom. If I click on that, it gives me an imager link to the GIF I just made. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so you can go ahead and set those up, or you just click on it and then press the hotkey you want. So control print screen. Uh, you can add more. Let's right click on it again and go to destinations uh, and then destination settings. So this is the main reason why I think it's better than Snagit. Because you can upload to hosts. You can upload to multiple hosts, I believe. Maybe not. Um, but I have... Uh, an imager account. You can upload anonymous so it you like after you paste the link and then you copy something else you can't get that image again it just uploads it anonymously or you can authorize um, an account so you can do image shack, uh, tiny pig, Flickr, I don't know I haven't tried Google Photos but I'm sure it's pretty much the same way um, and then you can do file uploads uh, you can do URL shorteners other stuff, but I just stick with Imager. Um, you can upload to a specific album. So I have my going to Screen Captures 3, Screen Captures 2, uh, and then Screen Captures. I'm currently at Screen Capture 3. Um, I don't know, you probably won't be able to see any of this stuff, but. Um, and then you just go through the authorization process. It opens up the authorization page and then it gives you a code from your account. So that's what that does. Okay, so now that we have a basic rundown of that, I know I'm kind of going fast, but um, after up or after you take a screenshot, um, here's what mine does. I have it save the image to a file on my hard drive, and I also have it upload it to my host, which I just showed is going to Imager. And then um, after it's uploaded, so after the upload task, copy the URL to the clipboard. Um, you can have it shorten the URL. You can uh, show the QR code so it'll generate a QR code or it can open the window. I just have it copy the link to my clipboard so I can paste it places. 
And then um, there's all kinds of other stuff. Um, you can go through and mess around with it. Here's my screenshots folder. Some stuff I've been taking screenshots of. It has all kinds of tools, so you can do a color picker, screen color picker. So like, if I wanted to know what what color Reinhardt's yellow was right there, I could click it, and it's that RGB color, and it copied it to my clipboard. So if I go to Google and paste that in, it's probably going to give me an RGB color. Maybe not. Here we go. So that's the color. Oh, it's not up there anymore. But you get the idea. It's pretty useful. Um, and there is ShareX for you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try and answer it.